talking claw. This one is directed and co-written by Gerald Rascanito. I think he directed the movie Open Water 3, aka Cage Dive. A creature feature I quite enjoyed. And here he is turning his hand to a dinosaur on the loose movie. Of course, low budget dinosaur movies are nothing new. We've seen plenty of them through the year, through the year starting, you know, way back. Uh, popularized by maybe Carnosaur, and we've had the Asylum do a few, and obviously even some British ones. I've recently reviewed one called Dinosaur Hotel. And this movie actually kind of reminds me of that film. It's kind of that kind of level of low budget B movie. What's the story you might be saying? Well, we have these two friends that are driving across the Mojave Desert to try and get to an audition in Los Angeles, but their car breaks down, as they tend to do in these type of films, and they seek help from this kind of side of the road attraction, kind of ghost town uh, thing, where there's this old guy living on his own. But unbeknownst to the three of them now, they don't know that they're this neighbor of this kind of old guy is actually some disgraced scientist who is doing some illegal experiments and has created a Velociraptor, which then gets loose and, of course, hunts down anything that it can. What will happen? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie to find out. So let's talk about what works, first of all. It's a very low-budget movie, but I do think it's benefited from some quite likeable characters. Our three kind of main characters, this couple and this older guy who they kind of uh, seek help from, I think are all quite likeable characters and quite kind of quirky, but not to the point where they're annoying. And I really enjoyed the chemistry between our two leads. They do seem like they would kind of genuinely be friends and the banter that, you know, is back and forth between them seems quite naturalistic and you can kind of see these two as, as friends if they were real people in real life, that sort of thing. The movie's very short, so it has a quite a, um, uh, a fast-paced kind of running time. It's not too long till we kind of have our kind of uh, our protagonists on the run trying to hide and outsmart this dinosaur. Uh, and it's, it really isn't a very long film at all. It's just over an hour. Uh, so obviously it's, it has a brisk pace. It has a really oddball ending, which I've got to say. It's, um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it, but it's certainly unique, I, I would say. And there are a few scenes here where I think that it, it, do, it is quite artistically shot here and there. What doesn't work? Okay, so um, the, the film is pretty much just a, a, a monster of the loose. Plot-wise, it really doesn't do anything new with it with this kind of the genre. And to be honest with you, you're probably not expecting it to. But ultimately, you know, plot-wise, there's no kind of like surprises here. Apart from the weird ending, like I've said, I mean, that, I'm not quite sure if that's a good or a bad thing. It's so... It feels so tacked on. Um, it maybe feels like they've just added it later to try and stretch the running time a little bit, to try and make it into a feature. Um, but nonetheless, it was weird and kind of... Uh, and it's, <laughs> it's so different from the rest of the film. But, you know, I don't know how we feel about that. One of the things that really kind of bugged me about this movie was the horrific soundtrack, which sounds like it should be, be from a Wile E. Coyote uh, kind of cartoon show. It has this really odd uh, kind of soundtrack to it, which is just so distracting. And it's kind of, it, has, it kind of goes in, in, in comparison with the, the tone of the movie, which doesn't really feel like it's quite decided if it wants to be a you know, an action-adventure film or a kind of comedy and kind of, like, tries to flirt with both but ultimately fails in either because it really can't decide. Um, we also have our, our male lead, this guy. They've decided to make him a, a real camp gay stereotype and I think it's purely so they can have a joke at the end where he's hiding in a closet. It just seems that was the reason why, you know, that they've made him a kind of a gay character just so they can have this joke in the end where he's hiding in a closet then obviously comes out again. Great. But he just he just seems like a huge kind of stereotype. The movie is relatively kind of bloodless uh, and the, the body count is quite low. So it's kind of a pretty no frills movie it's i've seen worse films um it's probably a little bit more enjoyable than maybe the likes of the dinosaur hotel film but it's not far from that to be brutally honest with you it's the the actual cgi itself again it, outside of a few shots where i think it kind of works it mostly kind of looks like a kind of a cartoon raptor running around um so to me it was pretty forgettable it's 
it's somewhat enjoyable. I think because of the brisk pace and the kind of the chemistry from our characters, it's it's maybe watchable, but it's not. But you know, I don't think you can really describe it as good as a good movie in any capacity. I'll give it a four. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I shall look forward to you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.